It is the goal of every major league front office to hire a manager that all players aspire to play for. A manager who will model an attitude and character traits that reflect team first. Someone who can recognize talent and players and staff and instill confidence in them to believe in themselves. On May 13, 2010, we hired Ned Yost. But he wasn't just a manager. He was a transformational leader. Ned was fearless. He was tough and determined. He made us all believe that a World Series championship was soon in our future. The players began to understand the importance of unity and oneness of purpose. They immediately sensed Ned's intensity and a culture of belief in the clubhouse and on the field was being developed. But not only in the major leagues, in the minor leagues as well. Ned taught me and others the highest form of knowledge is wisdom. He made it very clear that if you simply commit to doing what is necessary for the team, I will commit to you as a developing major league player. And that's exactly what he did. Not one time did Ned ask us to send a player down to the minor leagues. His commitment to the players was unwavering. His philosophy created a win for each other mentality that was simply relentless. Yes, it was relentless, which was evident from all the come from behind victories. But the play on the field was highly entertaining as well. Ned desired baseball players who were athletic and could help the team win in multiple ways. One of our very first conversation was about base running and base stealing and the importance of having athletic players on the field who could defend. I'm often asked about my reaction to how and how to explain the magical events of the wild card game in 2014 against the Oakland A's. My response to that question is this. Our players had been preparing for that moment and those situations since the very first day Ned became manager. It was his belief, his preparation, his never back down attitude, and his fearlessness that guided each impactful moment in that game. Ned, I know you refused to take credit for what we accomplished in Kansas City. And you and I know, both know it's about players, and it's always been about players. But leaders shape culture, and you forever have left your mark in Royals history. Yes, you're the all-time winningest manager with 746 wins. Yes, you guided us back-to-back -back World Series in a World Series championship in 2015. And along the way, your postseason winning percentage is still the highest in Major League history. We celebrate the accomplishments of your leadership then, we celebrate it today, and we will forever celebrate it into the future. Ned, we both know that our team's at home, and you had a special team at home. Deborah, Jenny, Ned the Fourth, Josh and Andrew, thank you for your sacrifices to make all this possible.
In behalf of all your friends in baseball, the players who were honored to play for you, and these great fans who cheered you on, congratulations. We are all extremely proud of this very special moment.